What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. This is a video, this is a tutorial video about tech mode. Uh, what is tech mode? Tech mode is basically um, having a computer inside the shop with text assignments so they can see their assignment. Um, they can update the mileage, uh, add the VIN number if needed, uh, add their diagnosis, recommendation, print all change stickers and change the status. So the whole idea is basically uh, the ability to communicate between technicians and service riders and uh, in the most efficient way it's instead of walking back and forth and the technician can see their assignment and all that so how do you uh, create uh, a tech mode user you got to go to your uh, reports and then go to employee and then add employee make sure it's a service writer it will give you the option you're going to see a tech mode right there once you click on tech mode and then it will switch the name to tech mode and just add passcode for digit passcode once you do that, make sure enforce service rider to log in with passcode is enabled. Why is that? Because that will give you the ability to sign in with the, like with four digit passcode. So let's say I want to sign in as a, as a service rider. I can, um, we can switch service riders to, or I can sign in as a tech mode, which is, it'll, it'll change the whole uh, screen. So the whole idea basically is we want to show the technicians uh, their assignment. We don't want them to see certain stuff and uh, we want them to be able to clock in and clock out. That's something that we have right now. Uh, no, they cannot clock out uh, at a certain time unless they have like a, a passcode from a service writer. Uh, and uh, when you, you they, now they can view uh, their assignment, uh, all technician, or even I can come and say, let's see what Mark has. So I can see my assignment and uh, James. So that's kind of cool, especially if it's it's busy that way. You know, if I'm coming in as a technician in the morning, uh, I want to be able to see what I what 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 the service writer has assigned to me and what I need to do. Uh, if you notice, it says enter mileage. That means he needs to enter the mileage. Uh, and uh, let's just uh, open one right here and uh, so now we can uh, you're gonna see uh, the ability let's see if I can find another one they can uh, basically technician can even um, clock in certain jobs so I can clock in let's say I start working on this job I can clock in this job and uh, the service uh, service writer can see that so that's kind of that's kind of cool option too so you can clock in uh, any job and then when it's done you can clock out mark has completed so um what else i want to talk about here like i said uh, they can print all change sticker at the mileage at the oil capacity viscosity oil filter and all that so they have all functionality to be um, a technician at the diagnosis recommendation read the customer request and um exit all right so now let's look at the, the service writer uh, screen how does the service writer assign these technicians and we're gonna talk about some updates that we did recently to make it even a lot easier uh, but before I go one more thing is the technician can remember that their, their, their status is different they have diagnosis inspection completed if he's doing inspection yeah they yes they can do inspection from here too which is something really important and so they can do inspection um, and, the, and once let's say let's say I did inspection on this car let's just do it real quick and let's just say he needs pads and rotors and that's it uh, it's really fast uh, for both technician and service rider and uh, inspection is completed uh, I forgot what was before though all right so it was for the for the Chrysler so let's uh, let's sign out. It's so easy now to switch between tech mode and, and service rider. So especially if you if you are the, the mechanic and the owner at the same time, and you want you need to switch, you can switch really simple. Whether you're on the cloud or local database, it doesn't matter. And so let's look at that. So this one it says the Chrysler inspection is completed. I can come in here and check the inspection and see what's going on. If if there was a note or something, he could have said something right here and says I will I need something or whatever the case is so you can type whatever he wants there so but the question is how first of all we needed the ability to see uh, the technician screen but before we see the technician screen how do we even assign uh, 
uh, any estimate to a, to the technician. So that's let me show you how. I'm um, just click on it and click on status right here. So if you assign it to a waiting start, if if you just create an estimate, it's not going to show over there. It only show under two conditions. One, if it's in progress, if you set it to in progress, or if you set it as a waiting start with a, with a technician assigned. If you put it on hold or ready for approval or even custom, it will not show. Why is that? Because the whole idea of the technician mode is to, for the technician to see which cars he needs to work on. Uh, so it has to be very organized. So that's how you do it. But what if I want to see the technician? So that the, we have we had another option right here. It's called show tech mode. So if I click on it now, I can see what the technician can see without signing in and signing out. And uh, you can see like, okay, well, you know, I can even see. Well, let's see what Mark is doing. All right, Mark is let's say working on. He, he finished this car, but he hasn't started in this car. So I know what's going on here. He didn't enter the mileage on this car right here. And uh, I still can open it just like usual and, and go back. And, um, but the best idea is what if I want to, let's go back to show tech mode. What if I want to, I, I want to switch uh, this car, uh, the setting from James to Mark. So how do I do that? Just click and hold now. It's going to give you the option to change the status and assign a different technician. So I can say assign technician and I want to put it, uh, for let's say Hannah now I can see Hannah and uh, let's say I want to take this car how do I take this car off let's say I don't want him to work on it right now so I just click on hold and put it on hold now it's removed so which is really cool so I can switch between show all estimates and invoices and show tech mode to understand what's going on like I said the whole idea is uh, to organize technicians and you don't have to walk back and forth to tell them what to do uh, I think it'll make both uh, service writers and technicians more efficient. Uh, trust me, technicians most of the time are in a bad mood because it's really tough job <coughs> to do so. <coughs> all right, so um, like I said, it's pretty cool. All you have to do is just um, click on hold on anyone and it's going to give you the option to change the, uh, the status or even assign a technician. Um, let's say ready for approval it's all set then this will not show right here and uh, you can take them all off let's say you know what I may just put them on hold for now so now the technician don't see anything go back to right here so again you you're gonna be switching between show all estimates and show tech mode it came in handy huh show all estimates and invoices so you can switch back and forth figure out who do I want to work who do I want to work on so if I go back and say well you know what um, let's let's uh, let's work on the Saren again, and let's assign it to. Let's put it on in progress. And if it's not assigned, it will give you the option. But if it's already assigned, uh, I can I can click on it and say I want to give this to Mark. Then go back to Mark. Let's go ch show tech mode. And it, 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 keep in mind it's automatically updating on the technician side, so it always refresh. I believe refresh every 50 seconds, or and they can refresh it always. So. Um, uh, I think this is going to be a, a game changer, especially if you have technicians. If you don't have technicians, obviously, and you're the only one who's running the show, it's not going to change anything for you. But if you have a technician, but to keep in mind, still watch the video. I should have said in the beginning because you never know when you're going to have technicians. Um, uh, you're going to rely, you're going to need help. We all need help at some point. So, um, anyway, I appreciate it, guys. I hope this will uh, make your life better. Until next time, uh, thanks for watching.